Good evening, everyone. My name is Ethan Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another uh, Let's Make a Game. La Mag, for short. Um, so last time we left off, I had jumped into here. Can you see all of this stuff that's going on? Yes, you can. What if I switch over to creating the furniture? Yes! So where we left off last time, we had just gone over the constraints, um, or like the basic rundown of what the script will do, and the constraint objects are the placement, no, 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 no. constrain the objects for placement on a flat surface, filtering enabled friendly, save any placement so we can make, uh, so they will, are, blah, 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 blah. so we make, so, <clears throat> Save any placements we make so they are there when we rejoin the game. The ability to clear any objects that we have placed. In this section, we mainly focus on the flat surface constraining part, but we'll also want to take into account filtering enabled for some of this. Such As such, our first step is going to be talking about that. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I personally, uh, when but personally, when I write FE friendly stuff, I don't like to repeat myself. Unfortunately, that's a rabbit hole that we can easily fall down. Uh, basically, um, there's a lot of different ways you can do filtering enabled with like remote functions and uh, modular scripts with two different kinds saying that is server, it's not the server, it's the client. Anyhow, I won't go into it. That's what he's talking about. There's there's a lot of filtering enabled stuff. This was actually written back whenever filtering enabled was really a, a big thing and I am out of coffee. How am I supposed to do an entire episode without coffee? Dang it. Well, okay, fine. Um, so the way I approach uh, FE is OOP, Object Oriented Programming, is to use the <laughs> run service is server method. This tells me that if the, code, uh, if the code is being run on the server or if it's on the client, if I bake that into my own class, then when I run things, I'll be able to have both logic for the client and the server uh, server specific things. The only catch here is that it, I actually need two identical objects to create, uh, wait, two identical objects created by the class, one for the server and another for the client. I'll henceforth refer to these as twins. Okay, remember, these are not my words. This is us going through the tutorial together because I need a better understanding of module scripts. I've worked with them in the past, but it is not friendly. Okay, for the sake of, okay, for the sake of this post, here's how I might set up the server handling and the class constructor. Okay, and that is a lot of script. You know what? This, okay. He's using a module script. Module script from below. Uh, what's the, what's the, is there a, I saw a button over here. View source, view source. Wait, is it view source? How do I view source? Somebody was telling me there's a way to view source on this. Uh, maybe if I go to zeros. There we go, view source. Uh, we're just going to copy this straight out. Oh, wrong one. I need to come over here. Uh, and we are going to create a new modular script. So, module, module script. Boom, like that. Control, oh, control A, control V. We're just gonna paste this whole thing in. And we're gonna go over it step by step on what this is and what, like what he's calling here. So, let's go back over here and we'll, we'll whoa. We'll use his on the page. Okay, so server script. The, mod, uh, the module from below. Local placement class equals require game service replicated storage wait for child placement. Okay, so he's got an object called placement inside replicated storage. So I don't know what goes inside replicated storage, but right here is replicated storage. I'm just going to place a, uh, what, do, what do we think it is? Wait for child placement. Placement objects equals this. The module script from below. Is there a module script called placement? 
This is the module script that he's talking about. Okay. Moving into methods in Canvas. Very confusing. Okay. For the sake of the purpose, I might set up the server handing, handling and the class constructor. For the sake of this post, here's how I might set up the server handling and the class constructor. Okay. This is a server script, so I was wrong. Kill this. Get out of the module script. Workspace. We're going to kill that script right there. Uh, let's go over to server script service and we're going to add just a regular script. Paste that in there. This should be what he's talking about. I think. Okay. <sighs> Placements class is going to be a local variable and it equals require game service replicate storage wait for child placement. That is the module script he's talking about. Local placement objects equals new array. And then he goes remotes equals game get service replicate storage wait for child remotes. So I am assuming that that's going to be a folder. What was that in replicate storage? So let's just add a folder and we're going to call this remotes, just like that. Uh, replicate storage placement. I think that's the module script. So we're going to add a module script, calling it placement. Was it placement or placements? Placement. So that's going to be the module script that we have down below. All right, creates uh, the twin, stores in a table and returns canvas object property. Creates the server twin, stores in a table and returns the canvas object property. So function, remotes initial playment, placement. So we're going to need a, inside remotes, a remote event, and we're gonna call this initial placement, copy like this paste on server invoke player canvas so it takes in two uh, two variables on server invoke player canvas function remote. okay wait what placement object and then okay placement objects was our array up here for variable or for the keyframe of player placement class dot new which would be our placement module our constructor inside here which is going to be this somewhere test equals placement dot new this is a little confusing this is very confusing actually so my apologies for anybody else who's confused like I am. Remote, wait for child remotes. Okay, initial placement on server invoke player canvas. And then we create an object or we, we create a new canvas object with our canvas part, which is not defined yet. And then we return placement object players canvas objects. Okay. We'll figure that one out. Uh, finds the server twin and calls a method on it. Note, because we aren't using the standard method syntax, we must manually put it in, put in the self argument. Player function dot dot dot. I don't see a self in here at all. Remotes dot invoke placement dot on server event connect. So this is saying on the server event connect function. This is an anonymous function that says player function triple dot. If placement objects player, so check to see if the placement objects uh, with the key player exist, then placement class function placement. I am so confused at this placement class function pulls in this variable. Uh, and it says placement objects player comma dot dot dot. I'm lost. I'm lost. <laughs> All right, class module script. 
Uh, local. Okay, hold on. Server script. Module script. So is this a module script? This is placement. Didn't we have a placement up here at the top? Placement. Aha. Uh -huh. So this bottom half is actually the module script. So class module script. Cut. That first half right there, that is the server side script. This is the module script. So there were actually two scripts on that same copy paste. Um, so this says if is local server, then uh, no, this says create a local variable called is server. And then it says game get service run service is server. So this should return if we're on the server or if we're on blah, 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 blah. Local placement equals new array placement underscore underscore index equals placement. So this is the self call. And then for the function placement.new, which is the constructor, it takes in one variable, which is the canvas part, and it uses self equals set meta table to uh, first array and then itself, which is placement. <laughs> or the, uh, the index of placement, I guess, which would be another table. Um, okay, so whenever you're calling uh, a variable on placement, just like we did with the vector, if there is nothing found inside the object, it will come out to this meta table to find if there's something set that is a non-nil value. We explained that in the first video. I hope you watched that one because this one's going to confuse you if you didn't. And then right here we say self canvas part equals canvas part, which is the one that we passed in. Uh, custom logic depending on if it's a server or not. If it is the server, then we do self dot canvas object equals a new instance dot folder uh, and then canvas objects dot name equals canvas objects and then self canvas objects dot parent equals the canvas object that we passed in. So if you pass in an object, it takes and creates a new folder, places it inside the object that you told it to, and that becomes your new canvas folder for placing objects. Uh, self canvas, uh, okay, else, this is if it's not running on the server. Self dot canvas objects equals initiate placement. Did we have initiate placement? There is no initiate placement invoke server. Hmm. So there was no include initiate the twin on the server. Invoke server canvas part, which was the one that was passed in. Okay. Self dot service equals enumeration normal IDs top. So it's going to get the top um, ID of the object. Hopefully it's got a top ID. Most objects do. Uh, unless you're a mesh part or a, um, a cylinder has topped as well, right? Yeah. Cylinder has top part. And the severe has top as well. It's just meshed. Anyhow, uh, the self.grid unit is equal to one, which is good. We could change that if we wanted to, we're not going to. Uh, and then this returns the whole module as self, and then it returns placement to be used. So I hope that confused everyone as much as it did me. Set meta table, boom, boom, boom. Okay, moving on to the methods. We'll probably want at least two methods. We can always add more later. The first method is calculate canvas. Um, will tell us the surface C frame rotation and center and size, weight and width and height. The calculate placement C frame method will be used to find the module parameters constrained cons module parameters constrained C frame that is closest to the position parameter. The rotation parameter is always used. Uh, it will allow us to adjust for when we wish to rotate our model 90 degree increments. Hmm. That was something that I had a problem with on my lumber because I couldn't get it to work correctly. So the methods under placement, these will actually go inside the module script. Copy. 
So this is the placement module script. This is the constructor. We're gonna come down here to the end, enter, enter, and paste. These will be used to calculate. These are functions. So whenever you do, this is my new placement equals placement dot new, then it gets functions. So you could say, this is my placement calc canvas. This is my placement, calculate placement of C-frame. And then you'd have to pass it in these three variables. Again, very confusing stuff. <laughs> Uh, oh, by the way, this kind of programming is not, I repeat, is not covered in my advanced Roblox coding book, okay? It, it's not meant to go this depth. It's supposed to get you up to the point where you can go and learn this stuff on your own. You should have a, like, if you haven't read through the advanced Roblox coding book, I highly recommend starting there or getting something to this level because this stuff right here is a lot more advanced than just the entry level stuff that we've done in the past. Okay, let's start filling this out, shall we? Here is the canvas part. I'm just going to view the source. That looks like the calculation for calc canvas. So let's go right here, boom. All right, so canvas size equals self canvas part size. Um, we want to create the C frame such that CF look vector equals CF or self dot canvas C frame up vector. Do this by using the object space to build the C frame. So local back equals vector new. Okay. Okay. So X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, and X, Y, Z. So top, or back top right. Convert to world space. So the local CF, which is going to be the um, constraint frame. Is it constraint frame? I don't remember the acronym. Self.canvasPart.CFrame times C frame from matrix negative back times Canvas size divided by two, right, top, back. Use the object space uh, vectors to find the width and the height. Size equals vector two dot new, canvas size right, times right, dot magnitude, canvas size times top, dot magnitude. So it takes the canvas size that we passed in, or that it got from itself, and it times it by right, which is that right there. And it takes the magnitude. I don't remember how to calculate magnitude. That's fine. It returns the um, C frame itself and the size of the C frame. So that's good. Kill that and... Okay. That's good for the first one. Sure enough, if we try this out and draw out a C-frame in some way, we'll see that it matches the rotation. It places, it's placed in the center of the surface and the look vector is equivalent to the top surfaces normals. So, test equals placement dot new. Wait, what? 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 What is this? Test equals placement dot new game dot workspace dot example canvas. Okay, so we have to have. Okay, let's just view the source on this one. Copy. Uh, we're going to have to have. Let's go to the script right here. I think we can go like this, place it. We're going to have to create a thing called example canvas. Copy. And we'll go over here, we'll add a part. Not pants, we don't need pants. We need a part. 
and that part is going to be named Example Canvas. Why is there a weld? Okay, apparently there's a, a weld on it. Now, if I rotate, I should be able to rotate this up, right? And like this. Now we should be able to move it, and then I'm just going to scale this up like that, and like that. Uh, and I'm going to anchor it in place. That way it doesn't fall down when we run it. So, hopefully, this will work. Oh yeah, that did not work. Remote dot initial, uh, initial placement on server invoke. Oh, initial placement, we don't have, uh, we don't have a remote. Remotes is replicated storage. So, replicated storage, remotes, initial placement. I've got an initial placement in there. What are you talking about? On server invoke. On server invoke is not a valid member of remote event. Oh, it's it's a remote. <laughs> Duh. Okay, sorry. Um, I'm going to capture that, delete it. Remote function. Remote function. Thank you. Paste. That has an invoke. I think. Invoke placement is not a valid member of folder. Okay, remotes dot invoke placement. Oh, so we need a, a second remote. Invoke placement. On server event. Ow. So we need one called invoke placement. Oh, psh. okay. Remote function. Invoke placement. Initialize placement, invoke and placement. Okay, there we go. F5. On server event is not a member of re remote function. On server event is not. Okay. Delete that. Remote function. Or sorry, a remote event, and we'll call this one invoke. Ooh, invoke, invoke placement. Fingers crossed. Server script attempted to index global placement a nil value. Placement equals placement dot new. Uh, didn't we require the game script required wait for child placement? Placement class equals Oh, can we call it placement class or something like that? Try that. Stop, 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 stop. Play. Oh, I heard myself fall. Oh, I got a true. It returned true. So what are we, what, what are we printing out here? Go to the source code. Here. Right there. Okay, so up here we called placement class as the actual requirement of the replicated. Instead of placement, which is the module script itself, we pulled in the module script into a variable called placement class, which is our actual object. I think. I hope I did that right. <laughs> How far in are we? 24 minutes into the, the video. Oh my goodness. I hope I'm not messing anything up. All right, let's get out of that. Let's go back over here. Uh, it looks good. Um, C frame dot look vector equals. Did we have that at the end? 
C-frame dot look vector equals example canvas C-frame up vector, which returns true. So that that printed off the size, and then it printed off the awesome. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Now, before moving on to calculate placement C-frame method, let's discuss a few assumptions that we can make about models that we place. Models we place. The biggest of these assumptions will be that we will have uh, is that they will have a primary part which will represent their bounding box. Uh, this part will likely completely be completely transparent and non-collidable, but those choices are up to you as a developer. Uh, this is something that I started working with previously in my lumber, but I only did it with the ladder. I didn't do it with the basic parts, which I probably should go back and do. Uh, now that now that we have that out of the way, let's fill in the methods. So this is going to be the calculate C-frame model position. Let's go back over to the placements. Calculate placement C-frame. Calculate placement C-frame. So all of this goodness in between here is going to be our oh P source. All of that is the actual function we already have it defined. Copy. And we're going to come over here. Blank, blank, blank. Place. There we go. So let's break this one down. Placement, calculate placement C-frame, model, position, rotation. So this calculate will bring in the three things, which model we're placing, what position it's at, and what kind of rotation it has. So use the other methods to get the information about the surface. surface. Uh, da, 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 take this back like that. Local CF and size equals self calculate canvas. So it will come back up here and it will get the information it needs for this, the CF and the size. And then module size equals C frame dot from Euler angles Y, X, Z. And then it passes in zero comma rotation comma zero times the module dot primary part size. And then we have model size equals vector three. Hold on. Do we just set it here and then set it again? Oh, oh, oh. We used it inside here. Vector three dot new. Math absolute. The size of uh, the size should pass in X. And then the absolute size of Y and the absolute size of Z all puts into a vector three and passed into module size. So this now becomes a vector three instead of an actual C-frame, because this was a C-frame before, because it took C-frame times size. And then um, L pose will be local pose, I guess. Get the pose re relative to the surface's C-frame. L pose is CF point to object space position. We don't have a function called, oh wait, CF is a C frame and C frame contains the uh, function point to object space. If we go over to uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. C frame math operations, uh, I don't want to do understanding C frames, I want the actual C frame objects. Come back, C frames, C frames, C frames. Where are Okay, how do I do a, a search? C-frame. C-frame. This should tell me the, the methods. There's the constructors. Constructors. Uh, properties. Functions. Uh, point to object space. Point to world space. Point to object space. Right there. It takes in a vector 3. Return... Be careful what you click on. Uh, point to object space. Takes in a vector three, returns vector three transformed in from world to object space, equivalent of C-frame inverse times V3. So, CF is a C-frame. We just did a point to object surface and passed in the position. Position comes from function call. 
size two equals size minus vector dot new module size x and module size z divided by two. This is get the max bounds of the model from the surfaces center. So the, the maximum width and height that we could have. Whew. It's a lot of information taken at once. Uh, constrain position using the size two. So then we're going to clamp on the, so X becomes math.clamp, uh, L post X comma size two X and size two. So then math clamp Y. And for those of you that need to know what math.clamp is, we can do this copy, come back over to the C frames and we can do math, math object and find clamp. So number X, number minimum, number maximum. Returns uh, a number between the minimum and the maximum inclusive. So that means anything from the lowest to the biggest. I think you could do backwards, but it would, I don't know that that would work. It returns the number, but why does it take in the first number in the first place? X equals math clamp. Okay. I don't understand quite why it passes in the X because you could just have a minimum and maximum to do a clamp. L pose X size, negative size two X and size two X. So if it were zero, no, that wouldn't work. If it were five, this would be, let's see, if our width was six, Okay, size two would be size minus the vector two, which would become three. So this would be a negative three to a positive three, which is a total of six, because we got negative three to a positive three, absolute value of everything in between is six. I'm a little tired, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> Uh, return C frame times C frame dot new X Y negative module size Y divided by two times C frame angles math dot pi divided by two. So 3.14159265 uh, divided by two, which is one point two point one four. It's 14 divided by two. Okay, Google. What's 14 divided by two? Seven. So it's 1.07 something. 3.14 divided by 2 would be 1.07 something. Um, anyhow, it's like half a circle. And then rotation and zero for the angles. Return displacement. Okay, done. Let's go back over here. Now we have a basic working surface placement method. Let's try testing this out. So local canvas equals game.example canvas furniture equals game.replicated storage furniture. So we need to have a module called furniture. Uh, placement, create an object construction. Tell you what. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, no, it's, we're at 34 minutes. <laughs> yes, I, I want to do this part. Come on copy this. All right. Uh, let's go back over to the what is it, server server side script. This is our cat script. Is that in world? That's in world. I don't know that we are going to be able to do that because placement.new canvas has not been defined. Hold on. Let's just take a look real quick. Yeah, it doesn't know what placement is. Um, what if we were to do this? Do, 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 do. Hold on, where's the script? I guess these are the tests down here. So let's just take these, place them like that. Uh, canvas equals game.workspace example canvas. And we can make this a little bit bigger. Let's, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Control Z. And let's set the rotation back this way. And then we can grab and just, there we go, lock it in place. We'll make this a little bit bigger too. Scale this up. Come on. 
scale it up boom this is just our an example example canvas that's fine um, we already placed that in there right so this isn't going to work let's get rid of that script anyway delete all right this is our example script all right our remotes remotes okay canvas equals workspace placement we are actually going to replace with placement class like that paste placement class not new is there another place where it has placement and it does not but we do need replicated storage furniture so copy just for fun let's uh create a box here blank we're going to place it up like that place it over like this that's horrible because it's not exact uh let's go back to modules and we want to constrain we got one, two, one, two, and we'll come out one, two, like that. This is going to be the bounding box. So um, let's call this bounding box. And we're going to make it non collide. Can collide is new. The transparency is going to be 0.25. Or 0.1 or 0.75. There we go. That's better. Uh, we're going to take and duplicate this. We're just going to call this tabletop and scale. Oops, scale from the bottom up here like that. Ooh, I don't like that. Uh, we're going to go 0.5. Be able to go one more. There we go. And we're going to make this um, red and transparency is zero. That'll be good. Now we need to do duplicate. I'm going to come one this way, one that way, one this way, one that way. And then we should be able to go down one. That should weld. And we'll make this black. We're just going to call this leg. Table leg. It's got welds on it, but we're not going to worry about the welds. Now we need to do some moves. Control D to duplicate. Bring this over like that. Done. We can grab both the table. Whoops. Both the table legs like that. Control D to duplicate. Come break over here. And that should be good. I think. Where are these welds at? Uh, can I see the welds, please? What are you welded to? Okay, fine. So, um, let's grab this, 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 this. And this and this. Control G to group. We're going to call this furniture. And the main portion, the main box, primary part, is going to be bounding box. Like that. So, this is now our model. Yay! I think it's welded together properly. Maybe. I don't know. Control Z. Because I just moved that to the wrong spot. Let's move this down to replicated storage, and off we go. Fingers crossed. Server-side script attempted to index local player. That, yeah, that's not going to work, is it? Okay, so, let's hit stop. Let's hit control Z. We can get rid of that, we can get rid of these. Um, and let's go to, what, what is this? Now that we have a basic organ, let's try this method out. And I think, replicate storage, create mouse equals game player local mouse. This has got to be on the player itself. I guess it could be in world. Um, no, it looks like, it looks like it's a local script. 
So let's do this. Let's go to um, starter player, starter player scripts, and create a local script and just call it placement or uh, my placement. And then we should be able to go paste. Nope, I had furniture in there. Dang it. View source. Copy that. And control A, paste. Good luck. Hmm, placement equals placement dot new placement. Did we define what that was? Context service bind action rotate on rotate false enumeration code is R. Placement has not been defined, so we need to define it as a module script. Joink. Copy. My placement. And local. I'm actually going to call this placement. Instead of placement class, we're just going to say placement equals this. Good luck. Nope. Oh. Attempted to index initiate placement a nil value. Replicated storage. Placement line 22. Attempted to index global int placement. Well, we've got int placement in there, don't we? But it's a capital I. Didn't we have canvas object initial placement? Hold on. Let's invoke server. It is a capital I. Attempts to uh, index. I don't see it referenced here. Okay, let's hit stop. Play. Could just be a capital. The difference between capital and lowercase. Hmm. Attempted to index global initialized payment a nil value. I have a feeling that we need to pull this in. So let's come up here. Where are remotes? Hold on. Remotes. Initial placement on server invoke. Okay. Let's just do this. Stop. We're going to take this portion right here, copy, come over here, and we're going to place it inside this module script. Remotes equals remotes, and then we're going to say local, oops, or case local, initial placement, copy. Placement equals remotes dot initial placement. I guess I can just paste in the same thing. There we go. Table is not a valid member of model. Furniture dot table clone. Oh. Okay, so inside replicated storage, there's a folder called furniture. Um, furniture. Oh, okay, sorry. We're going to call the folder. Folder. And the folder is called furniture. And this is called table. Is it capitalized? Capital table. Put this inside furniture, stop, and play. So much stuff that you gotta remember in here. Table model equals furniture dot table clone. Okay, table is not a valid member of model. 
Wait, what happened? Furniture dot table clone. What is furniture? Furniture is game dot replicate storage dot furniture. Okay, so we got replicated storage. Uh oh, what happened? Oh, was it running when I tried to do that? Dang it. Okay. Uh, folder. Call it furniture. Paste. Call this one table. And we'll move that in. Okay, now we're not running. Hit play. Try that again. Well, it created it. <laughs> it is not taking my placement into account at all. <laughs> but yay, that did something. It sure did. Okay, so we'll just have to figure out what's going on with the uh, the runtime script, or the run portion of it. Hmm. Filtering enabled. Anybody got a clue? Hmm? Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lamag. Let's make a game with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Sorry it took so long, another 45 minute episode. Who cares? It was great. We got to program, we got to script, we got to look at some amazing code. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos. Love you guys very much. Have a great night and we will talk to you very soon. <laughs> Outro.